Next, we have our last speakers of the day. Um, we have Linda Powell and Heather Zoll, and they are with MDOT's uh, Traffic and Safety Safety Programs area, and they are going to speak about the safe systems approach. So I will hand it over to Linda and Heather. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. A little technical difficulties here. Um, Heather and I are excited to talk to you today about how we can work together to eliminate fatal and serious injuries on our roads. I wanted to start by highlighting how hard MDOT has worked to improve safety through our TZD efforts. Toward Zero Deaths is a national campaign that focuses on creating a culture of safety to eliminate fatal and serious injuries on our roads. MDOT adopted this national strategy in 2010, and it's been incorporated in the Strategic Highway Safety Plans since 2013. MDOT has been committed to providing a safe transportation network for our customers through various ways. This slide shows some of our messaging methods, such as our TZD weekly emails, which we hope you're signed up for, but if not, please sign up using this QR code, through our Safety Saturday messages on Twitter, the MDOT newsroom, various MDOT brochures, and the safety countdown to zero boards in our offices and welcome centers across the state. Some of our educational methods that help to improve safety include participation in various community events, workshops and conferences, and MDOT's public website, which includes a page dedicated to the safe system approach. We hope you check it out because it includes a video explaining the SSA. As MDOT employees, we're passionate about creating and maintaining infrastructure. We want to get everyone where they need to be safely. This slide shows a few of our TZD best practices, such as geocoding mile markers for road users to tell first responders where they're stranded, marking locations along the US 131 S curve for first responders to set up during an incident, and safety surface patrol vans across the state helping stranded motorists, smart, smart work zone research to help keep workers safe in the field, and the guardrail gardens used for training so that maintenance can review common guardrail and cable barrier ending safely away from traffic. The nature of our business makes safety a core value. We care about people and we want to do what's best for our customers. MDOT's new strategic plan highlights that because it centers around serving and connecting people. This message correlates to what we're going to talk about today, the safe system approach. The concepts for both are similar, partnerships and sharing responsibility, which make things better for everyone. So let's shift gears and get into the meat of why we are here presenting on this important subject. So you must be thinking, what the heck? You just got done showing us all these great things MDOT is doing to keep people safe on the road. But the fact of the matter is, we see these headlines way too often. So much, in fact, that maybe you don't even think twice about it anymore. Let's take a minute to reflect on what goes through our minds when we see headlines like these or hear about a horrific crash. Did the crash occur on a trunk line or a local road? Whose fault was it? How did it happen? Or are we going to get blamed for it? But do you ever think about how life has permanently changed for the families or friends of these crash victims? Or how these types of incidents impact first responders or the medical workers who see this day in and day out? Those last two questions don't change the details of the crash and the people impacted are still the same. But hopefully how you view the incident has shifted. We're looking at the same crash data, but from a different perspective. That is what we want to talk about today, what you do, but from a different angle. The safe system approach is a human centered holistic approach to roadway safety that aims to eliminate fatal and serious injuries for all road users. It's founded on the principle that people make mistakes and are vulnerable to the consequences of those mistakes. We have a limited ability to tolerate crash impacts, so this redundant system strives to anticipate and reduce those risks because the road user should not have to pay for the mistake with their life. 
The responsibility of a crash is shared between the five SSA elements, safe road users, safe vehicles, safe speeds, safe roads, and post-crash care to ensure that crashes do not lead to fatal or serious injuries. It requires all parts of the transportation system to be strengthened so that if one element fails, the other parts still protect people. This redundant system is essential because those five elements are not sufficient to protect the roadway user on their own. Adapting the safe system approach does not absolve users of their responsibility. Although the elements work together to pick up the slack if an element fails, there are expectations for each element. For instance, safe road users are expected to follow the rules of the road by obeying traffic laws, making safe choices, and wearing seatbelts. So how does the safe system approach tie into towards zero deaths? Are they the same or does one replace the other? Towards zero deaths focuses on creating a culture of safety because no one should be killed or seriously injured while using the roadway network. And the safe system approach is the tool used to achieve this vision. One cannot exist without the other. A safe system needs to be in place if we are to achieve zero deaths and serious injuries and the safe system requires the towards zero deaths culture that places safety first when making roadway investment decisions. That is why we highlighted MDOT's TZD efforts earlier. So deaths and serious injuries are unacceptable under the safe system approach. I'm willing to bet that most of you agree with the concept behind the SSA, but probably the hardest thing to believe is that fatal and serious injuries can be eliminated. I mean, how how can we honestly ever achieve zero when people make so many bad decisions? But if we do not think zero can happen, then what number are we willing to accept? So last year, 213 people died on our roads. What do you think would be a more acceptable number? Um, acceptable? 70 maybe? Probably 70. Can you send 70? Actually, this is what 70 people looks like. So now, what do you think would be a more acceptable number? Zero. Zero. It's easy to think that these fatal and serious injury crashes are a consequence of mobility. After all, we're human and we all make mistakes, and crashes are bound to happen. But the safe system approach acknowledges that. And tack on the fact that as safety partners, we can get discouraged believing that zero, getting to zero is impossible. Because of all our efforts to keep people safe, we only see the ones that need our help. We don't hear about the ones who didn't veer off the road because the rumble strips caught their attention in time, or the ones that were able to see that sharp curve in the dark because of the advanced warning and delineation. The best way we can get people on board with reaching zero deaths and serious injuries is to make it personal because most likely we all know someone that's been in a car crash or maybe someone who did not survive it. Our goal is zero deaths and serious injuries, and we all have a role in making this happen, whether it's at work or at home. One way to bring everyone on board with a safe system approach is to incorporate it into a document whose sole purpose is to identify key safety needs and guide investment decisions to eliminate fatalities and serious injuries on our roads the Strategic Highway Safety Plan. The Strategic Highway Safety Plan allows all highway safety programs in the state to work together to align and leverage resources. It also positions the state and its safety partners like you to collectively address the state's safety challenges. So how is MDOT rolling out this effort? In April 2023, an SSA workshop was held with members of MDOT's Traffic and Safety statewide alignment team and their region managers. The day focused on learning more about the safe system approach and discussing how to implement it. 
All attendees understood that this is a worthwhile effort to meet our goal of zero. They also recognized the importance of sharing the workshop throughout MDOT. Then looking beyond MDOT, how do we share this message around the state with all our safety partners? Hence, the SSA Roadshow was born. We started visiting MDOT seven regions. Much of this presentation is part of the Roadshow. After the presentation portion, we spend time having open discussions based on several thought-provoking questions like, how does your job fit within the SSA? Do we think we can get to zero by 2050? Or what barriers and challenges may stand in our way? These discussions are important because they are presented in an open and safe atmosphere where there are no wrong answers. Differing viewpoints are encouraged and foster back and forth discussion. It is a way for people to think outside the box and look at things from various perspectives. This is especially important since different working areas are brought together for these workshops. Here are some photos from visits and our very own MDOT Gnome has been traveling along. If anyone would like us to meet with your business unit, feel free to contact us. Based on the completed visits, the roadshow has highlighted that each region has unique concerns, so discussions vary. The goal was to get people to see safety from a different perspective. The discussions were good because in every session, someone had an aha moment. We all acknowledge that this will not happen overnight, and in these sessions, it is evident that each region is continuously focused on safety. We hope you're starting to realize that achieving zero deaths and serious injuries is possible, but it requires everyone working together. What we do matters to our family, our friends, and to the public. Everything we do impacts someone. Safety is everyone's concern, and it will take all of us working together to achieve it. When we start changing the safety culture in-house, think SSA Roadshow in today's presentation, it tends to carry over into our personal lives, and then it becomes a domino effect of change. Here are some examples of how we can all be part of the change. Teach our kids about safety, such as the importance of using car seats and seat belts, so it becomes second nature. When they travel with friends, they will buckle up and hopefully get their friends to do the same. As caregivers, monitor the driving skills of family members. As a business, adopt policies requiring safe driving behavior and encouraging safe behavior 24 seven. And as individuals, avoid unnecessary risks and choose safety in everything we do because someone depends on you to arrive safely. Will you join the effort? Implementing the safe system approach is a shared responsibility, and we all have a role in creating a safe transportation network for all roadway users. Our hope is you can see that reaching zero is possible. We have the opportunity to make an impact and change the direction of fatal and serious injuries on Michigan roads together. Please keep the conversation going and promote the TZD weekly article to your customers, family, and friends using information provided on this slide. Thank you for the opportunity to speak today. Thank you so much, um, Heather and Linda. That was great information and a great wrap up um, to our previous presentations.